Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel on wiring the series truck up. Uh, today we're going to be hooking up the, the, the starter switch, glow switch, which is now it's just going to be a starter switch. And then getting the glow plug light working and hooking the glow plugs up. We're going to go over the starter wires, the, the glow plug relay, which is a special item. And... We're going over the switch too, testing this out to see if it works or not or anything. So hang in there, watch the video. Thank you very much for liking and subscribing. And you guys, you know, you, you guys already know you're awesome. So I don't have to tell you again. So thank you very much. Enjoy the video. See you later. On a diesel, they, the early diesels, they had a turny signal down underneath the dash. So it's actually a Lucas. There, you can see there in the key, it actually says Lucas along the top there. So it's an actual Lucas key, and there you can see, it's kind of just a generic key. There's not really, there's nothing uh, particularly, like there's no teeth on it or nothing. So you could probably use a screwdriver. But anyways, so what you have is, this works the glow plugs and also the starter. So it goes underneath the dash, you go either way left or right i think it works these things i'm not sure but it goes left and right but one way you go a little further it actuates the starter then so at rest you have left to hit glow plugs to warm them up you let go of it hit left or the other way it hits the glow plugs too i think and then once you go further you hear glow plugs and then it goes the whole way it actuates the starter so I'm not sure which way do these go. So we're going to do the old multimeter here and see what goes on and which way it goes. There. Let's go to this one. Nothing. It's the glow plug position. I'm just hitting that one. Let's see if we get anything to work. Doesn't look like the glow plug one works. It kind of got every variety there we went around. So let's see the starter one. We'll put this here. The glow plug part must be broken. Oh, there we go. So these two talk to each other whenever I go to the start position, but not, not at the glow plug. So here I go further, and there it jumps. So let's go over to this one. Still nothing. So these two are starter ones. And that doesn't do anything at all. So it's looking like I got this one and this one is the starter one. And the without taking this apart and cleaning it, I'm going to have a different glow plug relay. So I'm not really going to concerned about using this as the, as the um, starter. Well, I'm only using it as a starter key, basically. So let's see. Power in. We'll do positive here. And then this was for the starter. Since the starter has a smaller one, I have a feeling it's supposed to go in here and then feed these two or something like that. So we do this ignition or starter. You could do that or whatever, but we understand. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to rearrange these in a way that it's going to work with uh, what I'm doing with my wiring harness. I'll be back. So I took off all the connections here, and I polished them up. They cleaned up real nice with the uh, Dremel and a brush. Little Dremel with a little brush. It cleaned them up real nice going around. So then I noticed on here, there's actually numbers. One, four, three, and there's a two that goes to nothing over here. So I don't see, those actually don't even match. I looked, looked on our original diagram here. On this part, number 17, right here, which is the starter switch or the glow plug switch. And then they have a separate starter switch over there. So those numbers don't even work either. So the multimeter, we got our numbers. We're good. So I took these off. Here's our pieces. We have two big ones and then two small ones here. So I'm going to configure these in a way to work with power coming in 
for our from our fuse box power coming in and then power coming out these are going to be shared together this is going to go over and feed our glow plug relay which is right here i'm going to talk about that too so and then over on here we'll have a plug one will go to the starter to hit the starter to get it to actuate and this will go to the glow plug relay it has a, a kill switch to it to stop if you hit the starter right away it'll kill and turn off the glow plug relay so i'm going to put these on here and the configuration i'm going to be using be right back okay so i got them configured the way i want to i got the two big ones going in here this is the positive side the two bigger ones and then the two smaller ones are going to what i have is the ignition one or whatever but it's the starter one so i'm going to move on to we got this going so we got that and so we're going to move on to the glow plug relay which is a, a specialty item that i bought off of uh defender uh defendersource.com or whatever the forum that's on there so what this is, it's a cargo, HC cargo, part number 160423, which you might be able to find these online. I didn't Google them, but the guy was selling them for like 50 bucks or something like that, which I thought was an excellent price for something what it does. So what you got? I have also have a diagram. I'm going to show you that here in a sec. Which actually, I need to go get it because I can't remember how these go together. But I do know this is the positive coming in power coming in and then this is the one that goes to your glow plugs i'll be right back all righty so i'm back i couldn't find my wiring di my diagram for the relay but i did take a picture of it and i'm going to put that up on the screen for you right now for you to screenshot so i made a copy of it right here for my own reference so here's what we got here. So if we're looking at here, here if we're looking down at the bottom of it here, we have a 12 volt positive. Let me see if I can prop this up here. There you go. So we got here, 12 volt positive. This is where all your power is gonna be coming in that goes to your glow plug, which is a lot of power. So. You may want to put a heavy wire coming to this because I'm going to change my wiring diagram. Uh, according to my paper or whatever, I'm going to change it and update it or whatever. So if you ask for one, you may have the updated version. So I'm going to take this going right over to the, well, to this switch actually, to the switch. And then I'm going to wire the switch up to uh, the right to the battery with a 30 amp fuse. So I'm going to have separate from the fuse box i'm going to have this is going to have its own fuse and this is going to have its own fuse they're going to kind of share or whatever because one will be working while the other one isn't working so i won't be doing anything with them so okay so we got 12 volt power coming here which is going to be coming from our switch or you can have it coming from the battery glow plugs this is where the big this is the wire to go straight to your glow plugs if you have parallel glow plugs or the regular glow plugs too or whatever the old school ones but I have parallel ones that are in the picture. I'll show you over on the engine. So your ignition signal. So when you turn your key on, you, you turn on your key, and this tells the relay to click on and start putting power to the relay. No, power to the glow plugs. So you click on your ignition. It comes down here, just a signal wire. Whatever. When you click it on, it clicks on the relay and a timer starts for 15 seconds and puts power to your glow plugs. Kill switch, oh, let me change it. Your kill switch right here, which is, this is the orange wire that's over here. I have it coming over, coming off of this one. So whenever I hit this, whenever it's warm out and hot or out or whatever, and I don't need to do the glow plugs, and I just turn my ignition on, hit the starter button, that orange wire comes down and it tells it to stop stops the timer inside the relay and then the relay stops and stops doing its business what it's of uh keeping the glow plugs going and this one over here comes out up to the dash light so when you click on your ignition the light clicks on on the dash and it and you wait for the light to turn out in about 15 or so seconds it'll click off which it just goes to ground so it just got this power will come up to here which is in the diagram 
So whenever it clicks on, uh, the light will turn on. It'll be on for 15 seconds. It'll let you know that the glow plugs are heating up. And then whenever that light turns off, that's when you can hit the starter button and you got your glow plugs are nice and warm then. And in wintertime, I've, on my other cars that I've had diesels, I've done it twice. So I would hit the ignition off. I would click it on, let it go on for 15 seconds, and it'd click off. So then I would click it off again, and click it on again, give it for another 15 seconds, and then hit the starter. Over winter time, whenever it's really cold out, I would do them two times, go through it. So that's what the wires are on here. And the other diagram that you've seen up on the screen is a lot nicer. So this is just my, I'm just putting it down so I could put the diagram together, put the wires together. Okay, so we got our kill switch right here. Do it right on top. So the orange one, coming from this, this uh, the starter one, will go and connect it right there. So then the rest of the wires are already on the truck. So one coming down from the ignition, the kill one, we got that one, and then the dash light, that's going to be coming down. And then the ground, oh, I also forgot, that's the ground. That should just come up to your ground block right there. Okay, so... Let's go over to the truck and start installing these things. We're over at the truck with this organized chaos here. So here's the ignition switch installed just underneath the, the fuse box here, right here. So what we got, ah, if you can even see, it's very difficult to see here. Okay, so here's our connections here. So we got our orange coming down. Uh, let's just go down there. You can see up there, <laughs> they're connected up here where the power is going to be coming in. So here, here's the, the relay itself. So we got brown to ground. Pink is coming from the ignition or fuse box. It's actually the ignition side of the fuse box. Orange is our kill switch to stop it. And blue is our dash light according to our wiring diagram. So here's our power coming in from the switch comes up to there where it's going to get the power from the battery. Then this comes over to the glow plugs. And if you ever heard of parallel uh, glow plugs instead of the series glow plugs. So these are like the modern version of glow plugs. So they ground to the block instead of grounding at the end or whatever. So you may want to Google those type of things or whatever. It's, I think they're kind of nice or whatever. So you could buy it as a kit in which it works pretty nice. So now we have power going over to those. And like I said about the other ones. So let's go underneath. I'll show you where the key actually is. Here we are. Here's the dash here down underneath. We have our ignition switch right there light down there's the ignition switch here it's up and working and this is the the stop pull or whatever the pull stop for a diesel because you're actually your ignition doesn't stop it or the ignition that's on your dash actually has a pull stop you pull this and it pulls a cable onto the onto the diesel or whatever come over here it's connected to let me show you right here it's connected to this Cable just comes down through here, and this actually stops your engine from running, not the ignition since it's diesel. So the ignition could be keep running. I can shut all the electrics off, and it'll keep on running until I pull that switch, and then it pulls up this lever and shuts the fuel off to the diesel pump. So maybe we'll talk about more of that later or whatever. So we're gonna, I'm gonna install this, hook this up, hang it against the wall or whatever. Probably put a, a bolt in there. Then I'm going to run a wire from that over to the battery, over to that switch there. And also I made a new battery connection with an inline fuse to go from the battery over to that switch or whatever for the, the starter switch and also the, the glow plugs. So here we are with the box installed. With a screw holding up here and our wires coming down underneath, coming up over, coming up to our bundle of wires here. I start zip tying them together. 
And then we have our two big powers right here. Oh, geez, I can't get in there. Good, I can't. It's like impossible. All right, so then there's our other two wires right there, the starter wire and then the, the kill switch. Whoops. The kill switch there right there for the relay. And then those are the power in and power outs right there right there for the starter. What is it, for the relay and for the relay. So, and then we got it down here. Uh, focus. We got our glow plugs hooked up, our hot wire coming down, and all of our control wires coming up over. So, now we can come over to the other side. There's the dash. I don't want to turn the engine over yet, so I got my tester light right here. It's connected to the starter wire that's going to run the starter. So if we flip this up, turn the key on. Okay, now our glow plug light is now working. Now let's see if it shuts off here. Do, 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 do. There, see it shuts off after about 10, 15 seconds or whatever. So glow plugs are now warmed up. So down here, I hit the starter button, turn it to the side, turn it the right way. There you go. So I turn the wire, and the starter switch works now. So that's all hooked up down underneath the dash. So let me show you how it works with the, the key off. Okay, so we turn our key off, ignition's off, everything's off. Okay, so it's a hot day, we wanna start it up and we don't wanna, we don't care about the glow plugs. Turn it on, glow plug light turns on, hit the starter switch and the light turns out. See how it kills it? It kills the glow plugs from running when you don't need them. So you turn it on, Start the truck. There you go. See how it kills it like that? That's the nice thing about that relay and how it works. So it's pretty cool. So that's hooked up the starter, ignition, and glow plug. Here we are on the other side of the truck. The back side of the ignition switch is over there. And you see the yellow and green wire. I have that black starter wire following along down. Down here, I have a little harness coming over to the generator that we'll be talking about in another, the next video. And, um, but it comes down here, I have it zip tied. You can kind of see it. Comes right over. Oh. Sorry, I had to get situated here a little bit better. So, this is the wire that I'm talking about. It comes right here, over here to the solenoid. I have a little dielectric grease on there and I cleaned up that tab. Then this is your main battery power. It's, it's your heavy duty cable that goes around. I have it going around the, the rear of the engine compartment and going over to the positive side of the battery. So that's very important that this is on there as well. When you use some real heavy gauge, I think I'm using one zero, one aught cable or whatever I got from work <laughs> years ago. So anyways, so that's your positive coming in over here to your starter. Over here is your negative. This is your negative one, and make sure you take that nut off and you clean behind there. You clean this tab off, you clean all this off. And then this is very important to have your ground coming over to the chassis somewhere. So it's still, this is still the original cable, and I don't, I don't know how great it is or whatever, how strong it is, but I still have it hooked up and it's still having power going through it. But I have that cleaned up and I have it attached going over to the frame over here. So I have this as a ground, and I also added an extra ground to the other side. We'll go over to the other engine, other side of the engine. Here we are on the other side. This is the way I have my negative coming down like this, and I have it bolted into this right here, which is not the original place, the original. So I just cleaned up, I drilled a hole, and I have the negative going to here for the chassis. And it's welded to here, it's welded to the frame. It's all, it's all connected. So in order, I don't trust that other ground wire, that old one. So I added an extra one coming from here, coming over. It's just, it was the one that I had around here. I don't even know where it's from. <laughs> I've had it for so long. So what I did is I, I cleaned up this bolt, put a new washer there and polished this all up. And so I have that bolted here, coming over to the ground right here. So the engine's getting a good ground all around to the battery directly with the cable to the battery right here. So, 
There it is there. That's the extra battery there because you're going to need a lot of cranking amps to get that uh, starter to work with the diesel. Definitely the diesel. You need a lot of power going to it. So that's why I added the extra line. Well, this is the end of this video. i like to thank you, everybody, who liked and subscribes and follows. But I think we got it all hooked up and relay and we got the power going. So we're getting closer to starter time. But we're going to be doing the radiator and all the last part. That's going to be a later video. So keep on watching and subscribing. Thank you very much. Have a good one. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.